When people think of the Netherlands, they automatically think of Amsterdam. But there's so much more to the Netherlands than Amsterdam and that's what I wanted to show with this new travel video. Today I'll show you 8 cool cities you can visit in the Netherlands beyond Amsterdam. And since the Netherlands is a small country compared to most places, you'll be able to visit many of them while visiting. If you love architecture and design, Rotterdam is definitely a city you need to visit. Rotterdam is creative, urban and always innovating itself, which makes it interesting to live here, but also to come and visit time and time again. From Rotterdam you can take the water boat and visit the windmills of Kinderdijk a UNESCO World Heritage Site. These 19 windmills form an iconic Dutch scene, which travelers absolutely love. These windmills were built around 1740 and stand here as part of a larger water management system to prevent floods. Today they symbolize Dutch water management and in 1979 they were declared to be UNESCO World Heritage. In Delft, you'll find many of the symbols that people associate with Dutch culture, such as Delft's blue, cheese, but also the artist Vermeer. The famous painting Girl with a Pearl Earring was created by Vermeer, an artist from Delft. You'll also find the Vermeer syndrome in Delft with more of his works. Make sure you stop at one of the Dell's Blue shops and in some places you can even do Dell's Blue workshops where you can paint your own tile. Welcome to the Zaanse Schans, a town where you'll travel back in time to the 18th and 19th century in Holland. When you walk around, you'll feel like you're walking through an open-air museum filled with Dutch windmills, old houses and even a replica of the first Albert Heijn with products they sold back then. Albert Heijn is a popular Dutch grocery store over here. When people think of Holland, they think of windmills and clocks and you'll find an overload of these right here. So grab your camera and phone and take lots of pictures. When you arrive, this iconic view of the six windmills will greet you. These are six working industrial windmills that you can visit for a small fee. What I loved the most was walking around and absorbing this picture postcard version of a traditional Dutch village in a water and country city. I mean, what's not to love about it? For unique pictures, make sure you go to the clocks. I spotted these on Instagram and I knew I had to take one here. Peekaboo, I see you! <laughs> The Zaanse Schans is only 30 minutes away from Amsterdam, so if you're in town and have time to spare, make sure you come and visit. It was also the most visited place in Holland last year. When you get off the train, you'll see and smell that there's a chocolate factory there and the signs on the floor will show you how to walk. And if you're in the area anyway, make a quick stop at Zaanda. The unique Intel Hotel is what caught my eye on Instagram as well. Sandam is delightful for a Sunday walk, shopping and to grab a bite to eat. If you want a super Dutch experience, make sure you visit Volendam. 
clocks, strobe waffles, Dutch cheese and houses are some of the elements you will see here that will make you experience Holland at its best. Located at approximately 30 minutes by bus from Amsterdam, visiting Volendam is a must, as it doesn't get more Dutch than this. Stroopwafels are a sweet treat that travelers love to eat when coming to the Netherlands. In Volendam, make sure you visit Walter's Bakery so you can see how stroopwafels are made, eat it and buy some as a souvenir. Experience a blast from the past and take a picture in these Dutch clothes. Even celebs like football player Patrick Klavert went ahead and did it. Around Volendam you'll find several places to take these kind of pictures as many Dutch people were agriculturalists in ancient times which is why you see it reflected in these clothes and the clocks. Clogs are wooden shoes that Dutch people used to wear. Even nowadays, from time to time, you can spot people still wearing them. I already spotted two men wearing clogs twice at the airport. At the wooden shoe factory Volendam, you'll find a mini clog museum on the second floor explaining the origins and history of clogs. Whereas clogs were made by hand originally, now people use machines to produce them. It goes from basic to embellished clogs for weddings or other special occasions. In Volendam you can also get them as cute souvenirs. I got colorful clock keychains which is super handy to spot my keys. I actually heard about Giet Holland, Holland's Little Venice from two Airbnb guests from Taiwan. Giethoorn is located in the north of Holland and is two and a half hours from Amsterdam and Rotterdam by train. And once you get there, you need to take the bus. I'm surprised I never heard of it before, but then again, I don't do that much traveling in Holland. And you guys, Giethoorn is so cute and truly deserves the name Holland's Little Venice, even more so than Amsterdam. Definitely come here with good weather during the summer, as the boat rides are such a unique experience. I went with my sister and mom and we started off with a boat ride that showed us all the charming corners of this place. The ride was approximately 30 minutes and included tea or coffee. I don't remember the price though. Here are some cool facts I learned about Giethoorn. 
There are a total of 200 bridges connected to houses which are on private islands. 3,000 people live here, yet since 1958, 1 million people have visited Giethoorn. Why? A lot of times a movie puts a destination on the map and with Giethoorn it's no different. A Dutch movie called Fanfare was filmed here and since then a massive wave of tourists started to come here, especially Asians. I hope you enjoy these 8 lovely cities in the Netherlands. Let me know which city you love the most and if you would like to see more cities in the Netherlands, comment below. Thank you so much for watching and I see you in my next video.